Amazing discoveries are happening all over the world and even in space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent and fascinating discoveries. Massive sinkhole in China has led to the discovery of a world-class geological wonder. A second expedition into a massive sinkhole located in the Guangxi forest of China has revealed compelling details of a world-class geological discovery. The sinkhole connects to a massive cave system that was first discovered through a Hong Kong expedition, which gave it the name Hong Kong Hengting Hall. The more recent expedition in 2018 examined its volume through 3D scanning. The sinkhole was found to be 328 feet wide and 656 feet long, and as deep as 387 feet. Due to its massive size, geologists have deemed the sinkhole cave complex as world-class. Footage from the expedition showcases the interior of the connected cave hall. Hong Kong Hating Hall features clear blue waters, collapsed rocks and craters, halls and corridors, as well as beautiful stone pillars and cave pearls. The cave hall is also connected to an underground river that feeds into the Panyang River. This 2018 expedition was led by a multinational team of 19 people from China and the UK, headed by Zhang Huanghai of the Institute of Cast Geology and Andy Evis of the British Caving Association. The team used only one 656-foot-long rope to descend into the sinkhole interior. From there, they used 3D scanning to map the cave complex. Researchers hope to use this technology to uncover the origins of the sinkhole in the future. Typically, sinkholes occur when an underground cave collapses, often from water erosion. These sinkholes can reveal unexplored underground cave systems, like the magnificent Hong Kong Hating Hall. Astronomers detect secret water reserves in the solar system's largest canyon. Valles Marineris also known as the Grand Canyon of Mars, is the largest canyon in our solar system. But Valles Marineris attracts scientific curiosity for more than just its size. The 2,485-mile-long canyon system may also be home to hidden reserves of water. Recent data from an instrument known as the ESA Roscosmos ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter's Friend shows abnormal hydrogen levels below Mars's surface. Unlike previous instruments, FRIEND, which stands for Fine Resolution Epithermal Neutron Detector, can detect neutrons up to a meter below the surface of Mars. According to physicist Alexei Malakov, neutrons are produced when highly energetic particles known as galactic cosmic rays strike Mars. Low neutron levels indicate the presence of hydrogen. Because dry soil emits more neutrons than wet soil, the number of neutrons emitted by soil beneath Mars's surface can indicate levels of water. Between May 2018 and February 2021, Friend collected the data that indicates high concentrations of subsurface hydrogen. It suggests that soil up to a meter deep in the Valles Marineris region contains water that is either locked inside minerals or ice. Because it is unusual for minerals in this region to contain large amounts of water, Experts believe that water ice near the surface is the more probable explanation. If the hydrogen is truly forming water molecules, this suggests that water makes up up to 40% of the area close to the surface in the region. This watery area is roughly the size of the Netherlands. This discovery is unexpected, as the pressure and temperature around the Mars equator does not create a suitable environment for large stores of water. The presence of water in Valles Marineris suggests unusual conditions, possibly relating to the angle of its slopes. The water may also be sitting in scattered ancient deposits. This discovery of water is fascinating because of its surprising location, but this is not the first reserve found on the planet. It appears that the majority of water on Mars exists in the poles in the form of ice. The warmth surrounding the equator prevents the formation of ice at many latitudes. Water on Mars is typically found at higher latitudes, but this recent finding suggests it can be located under the surface as well. 
The watery region of Valles Marineris is abundant despite unfavorable conditions at the equator. Because of this, it has been compared to the permafrost regions of Earth, where ice is constantly present underneath the dry soil due to lower temperatures. It is still unclear exactly why water has been able to form near the Mars equator and what form that water takes. Understanding the form and conditions of this water may lead to even more important discoveries. This water could expand the possibilities for exploration on Mars. Space crew would likely land around the equator, and accessible water close to the surface could mean greater survival capabilities for the crew. If the water exists in a permafrost-like state, it could contain frozen microorganisms or signs of previous life in the form of organic molecules. And if this water is only a meter below the surface, signs of life on Mars might not be so difficult to come by after all. Mini jet found near Milky Way's supermassive black hole. At the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way, there is a supermassive black hole. Occasionally, this black hole, called Sagittarius A star, shoots out a mini jet into space. Thanks to Gerard Cecil's work with the NASA Hubble Space Telescope and other instruments, there is now new evidence that a several thousand year old blowtorch like jet is still pushing into space. His findings come after the 2013 X-ray and radio wave-based evidence revealed a southern jet close to the black hole. Cecil of the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill set out to find a northern counterjet. While his team have not been able to photograph this jet, the telescope revealed a glowing hydrogen cloud close to the black hole that appears to have been hit by a jet stream. Experts believe that after the jet leaves the black hole, it eventually strikes this hydrogen cloud, causing streams of bubbles to stretch out 500 light-years in many directions. According to NASA, this can be compared to a narrow stream from a hose aimed into a pile of sand. The Milky Way's supermassive black hole is as large as the name suggests. It is more than 4 million times larger than our Sun. The black hole accumulates stars and gas clouds into its accretion disk. Accretion disk refers to the rotating matter that surrounds a celestial body. A black hole, for instance, due to gravitational influences. Every so often, matter from the black hole will become superheated and shoot out in the form of narrow beams. These beams are what we call jets. The new observations from the Hubble Space Telescope suggest that the Sagittarius A star black hole is not inactive but will continue to periodically eject jets as it swallows large gas clouds or other masses. Right now, the black hole is powered down, but we are still discovering evidence from previous outbursts. Earlier observations showed that a jet stream from the Sagittarius A star around 2 to 4 million years ago created the Fermi Gamma Ray Bubbles, a pair of massive glowing bubbles above our galaxy. Perhaps a future jet will sustain itself long enough to reach these bubbles, which extend 500 light years across. The black hole is expected to increase its luminosity so that this lingering jet channel will become more prominent after its next eruption. Researchers are interested to see how far this future stream will travel and if it will truly reach the Fermi gamma ray bubbles. But what do you make of these major scientific discoveries that have expanded what we know about our planet and beyond? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.